All right, it's July 28th, and that means this is the last episode of July of 2023, the scorching month of ours. Uh, I, knew, I had to get weather in there, right? Of course, grow up in Phoenix, you love weather. But yeah, of course, also you might be noticing this going up a little later than I prefer, and I try to get this prep between getting off the day job and this, and just hit that fucking fatigue. I hate, it's so frustrating. <laughs> I mean, hate is probably the right word. But regardless, I'm here to bring you an episode to tell you about all the shows that are coming up. And also, if you're looking for, you know, updates, at least if you've been following my social media, you've been seeing. Good news is good news. I mean, I can't complain that they're like, well, if we didn't find any issues or inflammation in your neck and your neuropath, and your lungs look good, and, like, the CT scans look good. Like, <laughs> it's awesome, right? From other than I'm still experiencing the long COVID symptoms, and we can't seem to find them other than... Another test, another ESR test, which is the erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Ah, there we go. Uh, which shows how many red blood cells are being output of a certain type out of your liver. And that means my immune system still is having an active response to somewhere in my body inflammation, which we eliminated like three spots. Unfortunately, that's one of many, many places and seems to be the ongoing source of my fatigue. Uh, it says the normal range is 0 to 15. In May, that test was a 34. In this latest one with the rheumatologist, it was a 30. So I guess it's kind of dropped a little, but it's still way up there. So that's still our only lead. And unfortunately, it means still have nights like this where I try to get this stuff done early and still got to rest and still trying to... I mean, fucking... I love doing this, so that's why this is still happening for you. Uh, so yeah, at least, you know here for you for another week of show recommendations for the next week. So with that said, let's safely go. Yes, welcome to another episode of Every Show Joe Says Go, where I still recommend, yeah, mask and do what you can to lower and mitigate uh, your chance of getting what the fuck I've been dealing with for almost 13 months now. <laughs> go us, go me. Um, yeah, you don't want this. And if you can do it, lower your chance of this in any form of catching COVID. Helping also just if you don't feel well, don't go out to a show. There are bands catching COVID at a higher rate right now and meaning yes once again some postponements and stuff among other things as we saw best wishes to milo and to rusty pistachio and all that for other health stuff too uh but yeah you want to try and lower the chances of our favorite touring musicians having to do any of that kind of stuff especially the middle sized guys and less it is financially hard especially if you had to pause to deal with this so, so always recommend that also thank you tony who used to be in the room. They don't perform anymore, but Dumpster Hump was the band, and they made that intro here at the top, so let's throw that out there. But yeah, so, of course, if you're still here and you're watching it, be sure to like it wherever you're watching it. And if you're not watching on YouTube and you might want to watch on YouTube or get notifications when these go up and any other content, go subscribe on youtube.com slash every show Joe. And you help me out there because they don't give you certain access to things until you hit certain subscriber numbers, so the higher that goes the better we do on it, like getting the feeble ad revenue. I should like have a trigger, like a glowing, like light beam coming down on I say that. Uh, mental note. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, of course, because I don't get ad revenue, I always mention patreon.com for slash every show Joe. Even, you know, dollar a month helps me out, five dollars a month, that's like buying me a soda, a beer, whatever your preferred drink is at a mid-sized venue, that helps me out. Like, anything you do helps me out, helps with, you know, the equipment that I use here, it helps me out with when I am able to get out to shows and try to push through this shit. Uh, <laughs> it helps me out with gas, ticket costs, all that kind of stuff sometimes. Parking, because down in Phoenix is, uh, and gotten worse. Uh, but yeah, so patreon.com forward slash every shoujo, and thank you everyone that does support me there. Um, also, something you can do for free, go to everyshoujo.com, and you can go check out stuff I've written about hitting a year of long COVID. And that fun little look back experience, whatever the fuck you want to call it, editorial. Uh, that's over on there. 
Plus, all this photo stuff I have been able to take over the years of the site and write about with some of those awesome bands uh, that I highly recommend. All that kind of stuff. So, everyshowjo.com. And then, one shameless plug in that menu bar, there's a store link. You can get an Every Show Joe shirt and you can wear it around and support me that way because people look it up, right? I, I think they'll look it up. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's the fun stuff, the housekeeping. Also, thank you, Valdors, for the camera. You're watching me do these on every week now uh charitably donated and appreciated from jesse valley you might know from cartoon lion fucking amazing helps make hopefully well you have to depending when you're watching this and you have to wait for compression and all that stuff and sometimes you're watching this on a lower resolution until they finally process it to the higher resolution that i uploaded it so but regardless it should look better no matter what uh but yeah thank you jesse uh, for all that. And the song you're hearing underneath, it's fucking a brand new release, too. So, it's, it's from Harpies. It's from a bunch of friends who are in a fucking brand new band out of about two years old now, I think, almost. But their debut album came out today. Uh, the song is found away. Appropriately titled. It, it, it's coincidence that I chose it as I'm, like, trying to push through this fucking fatigue tonight. Record this for you. But it's also just a really good track, and I thought it would go well underneath here. But, yeah, they have their album release show tonight, Linger Longer. If you did make it out, awesome. And if you miss it, go check out their next one, of course. And miss, uh, wish Tori just safe travels and good luck in New York. Fucking wish I had the energy to be at that show. Amongst a few. Fucking Mike and Molotov. We'll, we'll get into it. Mike and Molotov. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I already wanted to list stuff for a Friday night of where I want to be. And that's all in these recommendations we'll get to. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah. Go check them out. They are awesome. Uh, TJ, everyone. Fucking. They're amazing. And happy to, hopefully. I mean, happy to have them underneath this. Hopefully they appreciate it. <laughs> and hopefully you go check them out. Um, but yeah, of course, every week, I like to always stress, fuck racism, fuck homophobia, fuck transphobia, fuck sexism, fuck bullshit, masking of hate and hateful ideas, which are really masking other issues when people, uh, they're trying to force the blame onto other scapegoats. It's so fucking stupid. I mean, <laughs> fucking... How did we even get to a point where people think drag is bad? Fuck that. The, what? Ugh. Anyways, we can go on another tangent ramp there. But regardless, let's make this about positive. Let's bring some positive impact. Let's get involved. Let's do stuff. Let's get in, just, you know, and speaking of get involved, every show Joe Dice com slash get involved you can find all these on there other than i'm gonna throw out there also rain r-a-i-n-n not because of the weather but because of what has come out about justin scene and so of course go support them that's a good organization to go check out for victims of that um also of course the normal stuff like throughout there is one and ten the numbers spelt out with the letter n between helping lgbtq youth just be happy be Embrace who they are. Be happy to embrace who they are. I think that's supposed to be. Uh, I mean, everyone should. It doesn't even fucking matter. What? <laughs> you should be happy as you are. Enjoy who you are. It doesn't fucking matter. You should be. That's the best way to live. <laughs> and so they're helping with LGBTQ youth do that as they are going through some of the more harder times of adjustments for anyone going through adolescence. Uh, so embracing that. Um, also, like to throw out the National Center for Transgender Equality, transequality.org. Uh, also, a really good organization there. They're fighting these stupid laws with actually a few organizations. Getting, thankfully, some stays and some courts uh, on some of this horrible legislation that's being passed. But they're there also for workplace laws. They're there for like all that kind of stuff. So, throwing that out there. And then, of course, we got Black Lives Matter, Poder in Action, uh, Stop API Hate.org. FirstNation.org, all organizations that are trying to work to take down systems in place that are prejudiced, that have, or systematically, I use that word, uh, ingrained that have these prejudices built in against people of color and build up things in their place that will do better and, and um, they will appreciate, but also not discriminate and have a level playing field and that's awesome so go check out those organizations uh, ones involved in our music scene of course the side project helping with homeless against anti-harm uh punk rock saves lives helping mental health bone marrow like a bunch of stuff and you've probably seen them on some of these natural tours out there uh and festivals and just awesome, doing awesome work so really cool stuff 
And of course, of course, as this it always goes on a little bit, uh, we got uh, the abortion fund of Arizona, like they're out there because Arizona still has a territorial law of 120, 30 years in effect because we're that archaic and our politicians in here, this fucking state are that archaic and <laughs> cling to horrible old values. Uh, so yeah, go support them and projecthope.org helping Ukraine citizens, helping Puerto Rican, especially in, as hurricane season hits again and still needing help with rebuilding recovery because the U.S. government doesn't seem to be stepping in well enough as they should be to help them out after these things, these storms hit them. So yeah, a lot of awesome stuff. Go check them out or even music suggestions. Go find something that you're like, I relate more to this and can bring positive change and that's fucking cool too anything let's just make the world a better place yeah simple easy right i hope uh but yeah of course musically you want to know the best simplest easy way to support your favorite musicians buy the merch of course oh, i love this shirt by the way fucking and a teenage halloween's amazing happy i was able to go check them out in tucson on their t one tour west that i've seen so far and you should go check them out too wherever you are uh, but also, yeah, buy the merch, buy the shirts, buy the Bandcamp albums, like Harpies right now, or Mike and the Molotovs, I gotta check and see if he's got a Bandcamp that I can buy on my, I know you can stream their stuff, but I like to give a little more, if I can, if I have the money, so, there's that, um, CDs, vinyls, uh, hoodies, I know, 117 and hoodie, perfect weather, yeah, it keeps the moisture in, well, it kinda does, anyways, Meanwhile, <laughs> we'll move on. But yeah, go support your favorite musicians just by buying their merch. That's the most direct, simple, easiest way to do it. Um, also, Neva, like they're out there in the National Independent Venue Association, they're there with an emergency fund for your favorite independent venues and lobbying for their interests. After there wasn't anyone, they were representing them in 2020, so they formed the group. And, uh, really cool. With our local psycho Steve, Steve Shilton was one of the founding there of the organization, so really cool. Um, and the most fun way to go support your favorite musicians and your favorite venues is go to a show, of course. Uh, so let's let's start tonight. It's still tonight. Hopefully by the time you're seeing this Friday. Um, yeah, let's start tonight. We got an awesome one. We're going to start with the national one. The Adolescents. Oh, excuse me. With the Deviates. With fucking some of my favorite people crazy in the brains at the Rebel Lounge at 8 p.m. Because I'm Mike in the Malls House with the EP release show. With, well, I think they had to drop off, but Killing Sunday was on the bill. Uh, Night of Spiders, Bitter Allegiance at the Echo Tap. That went at 9 p.m. start. Harpy's record release, which I mentioned, and Tori's Going Away Party. With merch, with Veronica Everhart over the Linger Longer Lounge, 8 p.m. Uh, we got the Maybe Next Year's, with Betting on the End, Somber Skies, and Radioactive Boy Scouts. That's that's a good name. Uh, at uh, Time Out Lounge, <laughs> 7.30 p.m. Got some metal for you with Throb. We got our local Sam Breaker on there. We got Gestation, Ugly, and Eternal at the Nile, 6 p.m. Sir, for that one. We got Mills End at the Fall Cow. Get some good food and get your grub on and some, you know, good music right there. Plus, we also got Ape Gone Bad, Trash Can Romeos, Morgan's Bluff, and So Happy, a Chopper John's at 9 p.m. A lot of these popped up between last week and this week that I was able to find them and put them on the list. So that's why you're like, wait, this seems like a longer list. And it's because, yeah, I was able to find some of these. Linger Longer still is the one that's tough to find. Uh, and then they pop up. Actually, Chopper's also, like, they have a week, a monthly list. But it, <laughs> it's not always there until the first of the month so trying to find some of the stuff is still you know a little bit searching around but i try i try uh moving on though we also got black bottom lighters of Bastille and tidy at the uh, rock bar 7 p.m plus up in flagstaff friends awesomeness boss daughter they're playing the another round of anniversary uh with at the flagstaff brewing company celebrating their anniversary uh i want to say anniversary again but yeah, and they're also playing at the Hive, so they're playing two sets tonight up there in Flag. Uh, I don't know when, I never did find the Hive set times, uh, but 9 p.m. over at the Flagstaff Brewing Company. Also up at Flagstaff, we got Halfway to Michigan with Snailmate at the Hotel Monte Vista there uh, in the Cocktail Lounge up there. 9.30 p.m. for that. You can go check out that awesomeness. Then down south in Tucson, we've got Hot Mulligan back in Arizona with Stand Atlantic Cliff Diver and Annie Jump Cannon at the Rialto Theater at 7.30 p.m. And up in technically Star Valley, 
pace, it's a pace and adjacent. If you're trying to figure this out, we got it's fine with vacant skies, pop icons, and 37 at the spur bar up there. 8 p.m. start. Plus, yes, if you're hanging at home like I am and you're looking for some awesome music and some awesome people to hang out in the chat on Twitch, well, Scott Klopstein's got you covered with G Scott curating that amazing stuff like stuff you can do while you're hanging out. Twitch.tv slash Scott Klopstein, 9 p.m. And also go check out his social media, go follow his GoFundMe, go support him. He's been dealing with chronic Lyme disease and can use your support for our medical bills so throw that out there too um then sunday we got a badass benefit for arizona teachers that's their wording not mine but it's a it's a good name um <laughs> with radio roulette prize or strife torn uh at the seam blotter vision corky's leather jacket joe grotto and more at the let it roll bowl and entertainment center uh I actually oh 3 p.m i don't know why I'd, that is not in here, and we're going to update this real quick so I don't forget. Uh, but that's not your only thing. You can start out there, and that's why I put it first, because it's a really good benefit. And, you know, 3 p.m. means you can jump to another show and maximize your music potential. Uh, speaking of, some awesome stuff you can go check out is the Breakup Society, JJCNV, with the websites and Marshall Goody, Yaki Tap Room. That's at 8 p.m. Also, fucking some favorite people. I mean, all these. A lot of favorite fucking people. Uh, but... Some favorite fucking people. Uh, Dinosaur Love with the Pangea Pals. We're playing with Vintage Clothes, the Invisible Teal, and Fleet Light Manifesto, which a lot of you should enjoy that name, right? Uh, at the Trunk Space, that one, of course, they ask you mask inside as just a courtesy to your common friends and the bands. And, you know, also it makes a welcoming space for your army and compromise friends because they like music too and to watch it live, you know. So. The more you can make the spaces more comfortable for everyone, the better. Uh, that one, of course, is a 7.30 p.m. start. And then we got Blasphemous Enemy Abbreviation at Rip's Bar, 9 p.m. We've got a Rock for Cause down in Tucson. Uh, this one, a benefit concert to help family relocate out of state due to health issues. Uh, this one featuring Glitter and the Zombie Freaks. Swigfoot, who are just fucking awesome. And another ska band. If you're looking for a ska band in Arizona, there you go. Swigfoot. Give them a follow. Um, we got Santa Diablo and Noah Martin Band at The Rock down in Tucson. That one's 7 p.m. And then up in Flagstaff, we got It's Fine doing like a little North Tour for Weekend Tour. Uh, they're playing Low Cash Ninjas. Vacant Skies on this one, too. And I lost my note. Oh, Bad Fix. There we go. <laughs> at the Hotel Monte Vista up there in Flagstaff. 9.30 p.m. listed there. Plus, you're waking up and looking for some awesome music. And one of the best people you can wake up to playing music. Cappy Ghoulie's got you covered with the Cappy Show over on his Facebook uh, starting at 9 a.m. And I always recommend giving him a follow because he streams randomly throughout the week. And, you know, that's awesome because then you can just tune in for another Cappy stream. And how could you not want more Cappy in your life? Uh, moving on, then we got Sunday. We got the Doll Heads with Junk Drawer, Spicy Mayo, and Fuck All You People at the Rhythm Room, 7 p.m. Uh, I was going to. Oh, wait. Nope. This one. I did not remove this one. Uh, there we go. Anyways, and we also have Bayou Bambi doing their live stream on their Twitch music show uh, around 2 p.m. Twitch.tv slash Bayou Bambi. Ska, playing covers, really, and their own stuff. And take requests, all that kind of fun stuff over on their Twitch. Monday, it's light. Like, the summer, I've noticed it is kind of lighter right now, but still got some other stuff for you because we're moving to Tuesday and we have Blood Red Shoes and Poppy Jean Crawford with merch at the Rebel Lounge, 8 p.m. And this is when we got Chris Murray's usual Blueby live stream over on his Facebook, uh, 5 p.m. for that. And then Wake Up Brand and Earlier by Me Bambi on their Twitch, uh, 7 a.m. with Scott Klopstein at 9 p.m. I, I should probably put these more in chronological order for the stream so you can get it all together. Um... Wednesday, we've got Troubled Minds, fucking love Troubled Minds, uh, with, with, and Relate with Dreamcast and City Mouth at the Nile Coffee Shop. That one is 7 p.m. start for you. Got Scott Coughlin streaming in the morning on Wednesdays, 9 a.m. Then Thursday, we got Man or Astro Man. I think that's the way you say that out loud. Uh, with the Surfside 4 and the Rebel set, that's at the Rebel Lounge, 8 p.m. Uh, Scott Klopstein over on his Twitch. Also one more m morning kind of stream, 9 a.m. And then Friday, we got Sorsha. I think that's how that's pronounced. Uh, with Ugly, Dead Canyon, and Sorrower at the Yucca Tap Room, 8 p.m. Got Police State, Freud, and Dogpile at the Alibi House, 7 p.m. And then down in Tucson, we got a, a banger of a show here. We got Punk Rock Friday, as they're calling it, uh, with Red Singer, Birth of Monsters, Blue Collar Criminals, Nueva Realidad, and Swigfoot over at the Thunder Canyon Brewery down in Tucson, 8 p.m. 
Another really good one down here, son. We got Local Love at the Rialto uh, with Zenora. Orcadia? Arcadia. I think it's Arcadia. <laughs> that makes more sense the way it sounds out loud. New Miss for you, who fucking are awesome. Uh, Noah Martin and Midnight Island at the Rialto Theater down Tucson, 7 p.m. Plus Scott Klopstein streaming on his Twitch, 9 p.m. every Friday. So go check that out. Unless Little Miss Man Band is on tour, and then, you know. Uh, but yeah, so yeah. There's your weekly dose. I powered through this. Fucking fatigue. <laughs> I hate this so much. I hope to be better soon and hope to be just back to normal. Fucking. I'm so envious of watching people's concert uh, pictures. Fucking. Just watching everyone go out and miss it. And I want to I wanna be better. And hopefully soon someone medically or my body will fucking do something uh, more than just sending out apparently a bunch of red blood cells constantly at an inflammation that we have to, to fucking find. Uh, <laughs> fun, right? Regardless, hopefully you are going to have fun at some of these shows and enjoy the recommendations. Cause there's at least one band on all these that I fucking love. And I mean, it's usually everything around them is really good. And even if they are different genre, I appreciate that. We need more. I mean, that's awesome. Spread the love. Spread. Uh, keep more on open mind and enjoy more. Uh, that's my best way to live. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I think that's all I got for you. But yeah, have fun. Be safe out there, of course. Try to do what you can to lower your chance of the shit that I've been dealing with for over a year now. And hopefully I'll see you at a show sooner or later. As I I try to poke out every once in a while. And it's still, it's some effort. And thank you to Jolina who helped me get over to the Aquabats. That was awesome. Like, yeah. I'm missing it so much. <laughs> but yeah. Have fun out there. Enjoy yourself. Be safe about it. And until next week, guys, take care.